Oh, my Scottish, my Scottish subscribers, please weigh in on you guys going universal basic income. Scotland united in curiosity. All right, four local authorities tasked with turning utopian fantasy into reality. A utopian fantasy, really. Well, it ain't going to create utopia. This is Edinburgh. This is uh, the Grass Market and Victoria Street in Edinburgh, where universal basic income will be trialed next year, 2018. Wow. All right. What does this mean? Well, in case you don't know what a universal basic income is, it's an idea that has come, the time has come for this idea. Mark Zuckerberg, Stephen Hawking, Caroline Lucas, and Richard Branson, they all support universal basic income. Do you think that means that they're going to give up their income and go with the basic income? No. Why do you think they support it? Hmm. Could it be the globalists are bringing in universal basic income, starting it, you know, in a few countries here and there, and then worldwide? Um, the four counties are Fife, Glasgow, Edinburgh, and or the four cities, Glasgow, Edinburgh, Fife, and North Ayrshire. Did I pronounce that right? The concept of universal basic income revolves around the idea of offering every individual, regardless of their existing benefit entitlement. Hmm. Well, you have to see, you got to do the research to learn that your existing benefit entitlement may become far less with the universal basic income, but uh, regardless of earned income, it's a non-conditional flat rate payment with any income earned above that taxed progressively. It will replace the welfare safety net so that people can build their lives, whether they choose to earn, learn, care, or set up a business. Thomas Paine advocated a citizen's dividend. Not sure what he advocated. Was it the same as a universal basic income? Not sure about that. But listen to this. There's a groundswell of interest over the past decade, not only among lateral thinkers, but also anti-poverty groups, which see it as a means of changing the relationship between people and state and between workers and the gig economy. I had to do research to find out what, what's the gig economy? What is a gig economy? Okay. Uh, it is the economy of companies like Uber and, and let's see, Delivero and Task Rabbit. Millennials are most likely to use services offered by the gig economy, and they are most likely working in it because trust in the media and many corporations and NGOs, it's diminishing among millennials but they have a strong brand loyalty to gig economy companies such as Air Does that actually have a pronunciation that sounds like it's a word? So the gig economy provides the majority of their income for most. It is part of piecemeal, piecemeal existence. They cannot find other work or they are subsidizing other low-paid jobs. So, 
millennials are having a very difficult time finding jobs, whether you're in the UK or you're here in the US, the jobs that used to be are no longer. Technology has drastically changed the economy. Robots are taking over the work that humans used to do. Manufacturing has been shipped out of well, the United States, what's happening in the UK, I'm not sure regarding manufacturing, but all of this has been deliberate. All of it has been deliberate to bring in the new world order. Well, you guys know about that, but I also, I, I had to go, what, what's lateral thinking? What is lateral thinking? Do you know what lateral thinking is? It's different from critical thinking. Yeah, so lateral thinking is solving problems through an indirect and creative approach using reasoning that is not immediately obvious and involving ideas that may not be obtainable by using only traditional step-by-step -step logic. So it's actually, well, different than critical thinking. Because here on Wikipedia, critical thinking is primarily concerned with judging the true value of statements and seeking errors. Really? Is that it? Okay. Lateral thinking is more concerned with the movement value of statements and ideas. A person uses lateral thinking to move from one known idea to creating new ideas, and there are four types of thinking tools involved with lateral thinking. There is the idea generating tools intended to break current thinking patterns, like critical thinking, um, or routine patterns, status quo. There's focus tools intended to broaden where to search for new ideas. <clears throat> you know, I, I read this and I think to myself, what am I reading here? Am I reading Common Core Wikipedia? Focus tools intended to broaden where to search for new ideas? Don't people just kind of know that intuitively. All right. Harvest tools intended to ensure more value is received from idea generating output. Treatment tools that promote consideration of real world constraints, resources, and support. So let's uh, do random entry idea generating tool. The thinker chooses an object at random or a noun from a dictionary and associates it with the area they are thinking about. So the guy that came up with this lateral thinking, De Bono, uh, he gave an example. The randomly chosen word was nose, being applied to an office photocopier, which led to the idea that the copier could produce a lavender smell when it was low on paper to alert staff. Yay! Hey! Lateral thinking! Woo! All right, cool. <clears throat> provocation idea generating tool. A provocation is a statement that we know is wrong or impossible, but is used to create new ideas. A provocation is a statement that's wrong? Okay. Well, my understanding of provocation is saying or doing something that may elicit a response to whom you are saying it to or doing it to. It could elicit anger. It could elicit excitement. You know, provocative. Um, what is this? 
that it's a statement that we know is wrong or impossible. Okay, am I now losing my mind or am I, or are you having difficulty following this? So De Bono gave an example of provocation idea generating. Um, so the example of considering river pollution and setting up the provocation, the factory is downstream of itself. So I guess that's wrong or impossible. The factory is downstream of itself, meaning the factory is downstream of the factory. Okay. Is there something clear here that I'm just not getting? All right, this leads to the idea of forcing a factory to take its water input from a point downstream of its output, an idea which later became law in some countries. Provocations can be set up by the use of any of the provocation techniques, wishful thinking, exaggeration, reversal, escape, distortion, or arising. The thinker creates a list of provocations and then uses the most outlandish ones to move their thinking forward to a new idea. <laughs> okay. Movement techniques. One can move from a pro provocation to a new idea by the following methods. Extract a principle, focus on the difference, moment to moment, positive aspects, special circumstances. I do feel like I am uh, being taught common core thinking. All right, I, you can, you can, I, I, I don't have the link below to a Wikipedia page. You can put in lateral thinking and read more up on this, but I guess this is giving way to uh, or uh, critical thinking kind of now dead has brought about lateral thinking and the lateral thinking, well, it brought about universal basic income. This idea, I mean, okay, critical thinking would involve really Focusing on the root of problems and then coming up with solutions to the root problem. And many of the root problems that we all face in our Western countries, greed, manufactured destruction, lies, coming from our government officials and mainstream media. Um, and, and the deliberate destruction of our economies, but we're not lateral thinkers. We're criti 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 cr critical thinkers. Wow. Yeah, well, critical thinking is dead, so I had to really work at getting that word back. But, uh, I can't believe we're here. Will it change the relationship between people and state? No. It's gonna, it's gonna cement, cement the marriage between people and state. And it will not free up your lateral thinking skills so that you can so that you can benefit, you know, and, and create a business for yourself because this universal basic income, well, it's not going to be very much at all, but it's going to cost, it's going to cost approximately $12.3 a year. Hmm, where is that money going to come from? And, yeah, it could very well disincentivize people to work. It could be in disincentive to work 
but that comes from the critics. The advocates argue account savings, the scheme would bring. <clears throat> the scheme, yeah, Think Tank Reform Scotland, which publishes or published a briefing earlier this month setting out a suggested basic income of 5,200 for every adult euros. So is that kind of approximately a little over 6,000 for every adult? And no doubt that is annual, right? So much of the cost could be met making work-related benefits obsolete, changing the tax system, scraping the personal allowance, merging national insurance and income, uh, income tax. Because They want to do this because work and employment changes are happening rapidly. So they got to be open-minded about the different ways in which they can support individuals because we know how much they love individuals. They love the ordinary person, like Mark Zuckerberg and Richard Branson. Yeah, they love the ordinary individual. We have high levels of deprivation and high unemployment, so we take the view that the current system is failing us and we need to look at something new to lift people out of poverty. Um, Dave Dempsey, the leader of the conservative group on Fife Council, yes, he thought that it would really appeal, appeal to people because it revolves around the reduction of benefits, the bureaucracy. I come from a maths and engineering background, and there is an elegance to it, Dave. You're so smart. Well, I will tell you that that was an article, the Guardian article, that was December 25, 2017. So this universal basic income idea has been written about in other articles, October 23, 2017. Yep. They're going to push this through. And... It's going to hurt an awful lot of people replacing subsidies with a UBI, universal basic income. Generous transfers of wealth already happen, such as in the welfare state in the UK, with a health service and pensions. Are they generous, you guys? My subscribers in England, Ireland, no, well, Ireland, you're no longer a part of the UK, right? Okay. You did get your independence, right? My mind is not completely blown. But Scotland, I mean, I hear from a lot of you guys. No, there is no generosity. It's not a generous transfer of wealth. You guys are just like us, just barely hanging on. But yes, the universal basic income, it would have to replace the existing welfare system, resulting in less generous Benefits. Love that word, generous. Middle income households will benefit the most. Poor households will be much worse off. How much would it cost a great deal of money? It's years away from actually giving citizens, Scotland is years away from actually giving citizens money. But they, in the articles that I've been reading, they say, watch 2018, they're going to be putting this in, but it would oh, result in a 50% tax rate for many more taxpayers. It's going to hurt everybody. It will hurt everybody. You guys, oh, couldn't we just get rid of government? I'm so sick of government. Aren't you sick of government? Universal basic income lands in Scotland, in a world where jobs are being increasingly taken over by machines, leaders have started to recognize that the welfare state or the welfare 
safety net, ain't that called the dole? But the welfare safety net will need to change. Advocates believe unconditional offer of a regular, though tiny, sum of money could help many get back on their feet and even encourage them to invest in new business ideas. <laughs> yeah, maybe you could invest in taking a lateral thinking course because you want to know how much they're thinking of giving you? Well, they're also thinking that it will replace unemployment benefits. But let's see some of these numbers. Uh, numbers. 73 euros a week I saw in one article. And you may have to click on the links, you know, if you want to. Um, see it for yourself. 73 euros a week is what? I don't know. $81 a week in, in 81 in dollars? And the highest number I saw was 150. It may have been in the in this article. Somewhere in here. Do I have to look for it? Do I have to prove everything that I say? Do I really? I'm so tired. Well, guess what? I ain't gonna do it. Oh, 73 euros per week for an adult of working age. And then there was another that suggested 150 euros a week, which is close to, I don't know, 200. But even that, it, it, it's chump change considering how expensive everything is. So if you lose all of your benefits and you get this universal basic income, how much is it going to help? It's not going to help. I mean, th this is, well, I think when we have, you know, lateral thinkers, they're not accessing their critical thinking abilities to really, really look at this. Um, 2017 saw a number of experiments in Kenya, Finland, Canada, California, Silicon Valley's largest startup accelerator, Y Combinator, which is the process of launching a large scale study based on the findings of a small scale trial conducted last year in, in Oakland. I didn't know about this, but Y Combinator's President Sam Altman tweeted, in a world where technology eliminates jobs, it will mean that the cost of having a great life goes down a lot. But without something like basic income, I don't think we can really have equality of opportunity. Yeah, basic income. It's going to create that equality of opportunity. We don't even have equality of opportunity. We never really did in our country, but Jesus. Yeah, well... Um, Scotland will be a place to watch in 2018. By the way, I just want to say, I am wondering if it may be the frequencies <laughs> that just keep me talking and yakking away. The buzzing is so incredibly loud as I do these videos now, whether it's day, night, doesn't matter. It's so loud. And I'm just hearing myself rattling on and I'm thinking, I will be amazed if 10% of my viewers actually get to the end of my videos. Links are below.